Here we go. Let's find your spot. Most days, Karen O'Connor is an instructor at Northern okay. Kentucky University and a full-time mom to four grown children. But every Tuesday morning for two hours... Where are you going? Oh, it's a big yawn. She comes here to St. Elizabeth in Edgewood and comforts babies in the neonatal intensive care unit. Well, I'm pretty good at it, and my kids always tease me that I'm the baby whisperer. But these preemies aren't just small. It's okay. I gotcha. They're sick, really sick. This part of it is very, just very peaceful and very relaxing. But sometimes when we get them, they are, they're fussy and they just, they don't, whoops, they don't know why. They don't understand why they, they can't get to sleep or they can't get comfortable. The baby girl in Karen's arms has been exposed to heroin. She's just one of dozens of newborns doctors hey, here will help this year. It's become an epidemic because starting out 35 years ago, I might see a case every few months, uh, but now we have uh, cases every day. Dr. Ward Rice, the medical director of Saney's NICU, says of the 45,000 babies born every year in Kentucky, about 1,000 will be exposed to opiates and require treatment. About 100 of those will be born here. At any given time, two to six babies will be going through opiate withdrawal in this one NICU. Babies undergo withdrawal the same as an adult would and they have this similar kinds of symptoms. That is, they have the vomiting, they have diarrhea, they have sweating, they're very irritable, they're jittery. The only comfort, aside from medicine, is being held. That's where cuddlers come in. And you just keep talking to them and just try to calm them down. Right now, 18 volunteers, just like Karen, provide a loving touch, a soft voice, and soothing song. They're just so innocent and so vulnerable, and they're just, if I can make them happy for a little bit, I do. After about two weeks and lots of love and care from nurses, doctors. We help them by giving them opiates and gradually weaning the opiates that get them off. And cuddlers. I love to do this. I've always wanted to do this. This baby will get to go home. <laughs> Sweet dreams. So Dr. Rice explained to me once the babies are over the opiate withdrawal, they're just like a normal baby and will get to go on and lead a happy, healthy life. By the way, St. Elizabeth, along with a lot of other local hospitals, also have treatment programs for the mother. So hopefully the mom gets healthy too.